I got eggs. I know, dude, eggs are so expensive. Not at the farms. You got to know a farmer. America runs on chickens. At any given time, there are over 1 billion chickens in America. America consumes approximately 8 billion chickens per year as meat, which works out to around 22 million chickens per day, and the average American consumes around 290 eggs per year. Hey guys, Small Cap Steve here, and today we're going to talk about eggs. You've probably been to the grocery store and noticed that there were either no eggs, a limit on the number of eggs you could buy, or that egg prices are way up. I recently spent some time trying to dig into this and discover what I could find. And in this video, I'm going to share my findings with you and I'm going to explain what's happening and uh, where we might see egg prices going over the next year. According to Fred Economic Data, that's Fred.org, which if you haven't been to, you got to check out the economic data that they have there, the charts, the graphs that you can make and you can alter are, it's unreal and it's free you, you don't have to sign up you don't got to give them your email address or anything you can just go on there and play around absolutely recommend you go and check it out but they have the price data for eggs and that's why i'm talking about fred here uh and if we look at it we can see that the price has risen from a dollar and 93 a year ago to four dollars and 25 cents today more specifically it was two dollars and 90 cents just in september in this week's CPI print, which was the CPI numbers for the month of December, we actually saw the largest and fastest increase in egg prices since the data started being collected. In the month of December, month over month, egg prices rose 11%. So at this point, you're probably saying, okay, well, why are egg prices up so high? And the answer is that in 2022, we saw a massive outbreak of the avian flu which is a flu that's spread by migratory birds. Something that I learned is that if a bird has the avian flu, the USDA has to be notified and the bird's owners must cull the entire flock. Since the start of 2022, around 730 flocks totaling 58 million birds were culled in the United States alone. Also in 2022, Canada saw around 268 poultry farms report their birds had the disease which adds another 4.7 million to the total. The World Health Organization said that between the US, UK, and Europe, over 140 million birds were culled. So something that seems kind of intuitive, but is worth mentioning here, is that there's two types of categories of chickens. We have broilers, which are essentially chickens that are used for meat. So that's, you go to the store, you get yourself uh, some KFC, some Chick-fil-A, a rotisserie chicken down at the grocery store, that's a broiler. And then there's a second type of chicken, which is called an egg layer. So the reason that I wanna break this down is that if we wanna really understand the impact of the avian flu, we have to understand the lifespans of the two types of chickens. The lifespan of a broiler is typically eight to 12 weeks, while an egg layer uh, is typically going to start laying eggs around when it hits 20 weeks old and then it's gonna produce eggs optimally for another 40 weeks. Thus, for farmers to optimally produce eggs, they need to constantly refresh their flock. To do this, they got to acquire layers, which they get from hatcheries. So we have the lucky farmers who avoided the outbreak. Well, now they have to go and compete with those who were impacted to refresh their flock, meaning those impacted will demand more chicks than normal from the hatcheries. So even if you weren't impacted, well, you're now going to be impacted because you gotta go and compete for the new fresh flock. And that's not to mention that some of these hatcheries were also impacted by the outbreak. So in summary, I don't think it's unreasonable to think that the price of eggs are gonna continue to go up over the next year. But let me ask you guys, how has this egg shortage, shortage impacted your life? Are you ready to go vegan because you can't get your eggs? Have you thought about farming your own chickens? Maybe you already do. I know Jay, the editor over at The Dive, he keeps bragging to me that he farms his own chickens. I even saw Ross Gerber bragging about how he has plenty of chickens. Did you notice that eggnog was a little bit harder to purchase last month? I went to the store on Christmas Eve trying to get some eggnog for my family. I had to go to six stores until I could finally find a store here in Ontario that had eggnog. Lastly, 
Does this impact Gonzo the Muppet? Who, of course, his love interest is Camilla, who is a chicken. All right, YouTube, let me know what you think in the comments section. We really want to communicate with you guys, our audience, and we appreciate everybody who participates. Also, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you haven't already, subscribe. We'd appreciate that as well. I love you guys. I'll be back tomorrow.